or unstable. So depending on the value of K, well, uh, K stability issues can arise. And also, for example, if we have the single degree of freedom system, but it is contacted with the floor, okay, say this is the coordinate I'm going to use, then the force acting on This, between this floor and the mass can be friction, okay? If I say this is FC, friction force, the friction force can be mu n, okay? If the velocity is positive or zero if the velocity is zero or okay. let's see whether this sign is correct or not by seeing the free body diagram of this case. Okay, see the free body diagram then Okay, there will be a Kx, and assuming that this is moving this way, then we say this is Fs, Fc, Fs, friction, friction, Fc, okay, is equal to mx double dot, therefore I got mx double dot plus Kx minus Fc equal zero, when x dot t is positive, therefore I say this is minus and this is maybe plus. Okay. Okay, in this case, the equation of motion, the equation of motion is no longer mx double dot plus something plus kx equal zero, equal zero. This is no longer linear. <laughs> right? This depends on the sign of x dot. Therefore, this equation is not linear because this is non-linear differential equation. If you see the text, there is a solution when we have Coulomb friction. This is the case, Coulomb friction. Coulomb. Is it French too? He's absent today. Coulomb friction. Dry friction sometimes. And if N is normally N Okay. When you have a physical system, we can model it and using energy principle or Newton's second law, we can get a governing equation. Governing equation is usually in this case for second order constant coefficient to leave the differential equation and then we know very well the solution of that equation we know very well. Okay? Another observation, because this